What's up, Doc Mike? Today's topic for August 21, 2020. The game changer, while waiting for a vaccine. Be the solution sa barangay of the Department of Health. Presented by DOH Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verhiri. Thank you very much DOH for our musical encore. Jazz Clean Air, presents, Usa High. An original Pinoy jazz rendition of a popular Filipino folk song. Performed by, the Jazz Clean Air Band. Original musical arrangement, Dr. Michael Raymond Aragon. Stay safe. So today we will be sharing updates on our national behavior change campaign against COVID-19 called the BIDA Solution. Next slide, please. So uh, with DILG, we were able to uh, uh, partner uh, with uh, DILG so that we can bring uh, the BIDA Solution sa mga different barangays po natin all over the country. Next slide, please. Our uh, major goal is to reach every Filipino. And of course, when we reach them, we like to enable every Filipino. Enabling them so that they can have this behavior change. Uh, kailangan din po, pag in-enable in natin sila, maibigay po natin sa kanila. Ito pong mga pangangailangan nila, katulad ng mga commodities, katulad po ng access to water and water facilities. And of course, we like to include in the communities, yun pong ating mga workplaces at saka mga schools natin dyan sa community. So this bid the campaign would primarily address social determinants of health by uh, having this behavior change campaign or in our communities. Next slide, please. So we have identified indicators uh, kung saan po natin uh, ginawa ito. No? So our, we went to the different barangays where we had an assessment no, of the different uh, households uh, sa community po. Nag-interview po tayo ng mga households and uh, healthcare workers. And then uh, we had this feedback and planning phase where we co-created solutions with them and the pilot of the community response as well as monitoring and recalibration of the plan. So we have identified indicators. Ang una po, at least dapat may 10 households na interviewed for risk perception and rumor management. So tinanong po natin, ano, ang isa sa mga tanong natin sa kanila, bakit po ba mahirap i-comply ang minimum health standards para po sa ating mga kababayan? So there were also a, this indicator na at least three healthcare workers are surveyed on information needs per barangay. And then uh, we have this, as I've said, co-created plan with local leaders. And 100% of barangay leaders are trained on risk communication. So aside from this assessment, aside from planning with them, we also would be capacitating our barangay leaders. And as uh, we have always mentioned, we are going to identify be the ambassadors in selected barangay so that they would be helping us in disseminating information about this behavior change campaign. Next slide, please. So uh, this one is, uh, ito po yung ano, as you can see, there is this young doctor. His name is Dr. Alfonso. And uh, he is interviewing a housewife on her perception of the risk of COVID, what rumors are going around that continue to trigger misconception. So we had this... Uh, risk perception, rumor management, and information gap survey, kung saan nakakuha po tayo ng mga datos para i-input natin dito sa kampanyang ginagawa natin sa ngayon. Next slide, please. So together with the community, we have identified what stops people no, from doing these minimum health standards, as I've mentioned a while ago. Uh, like why people are not able to follow physical distancing. Like in this photo, for example, makikita po natin ano, kung paano po yung pamantayan at patakaran ng mga establishments din natin kapag ka pupunta ang mga tao sa mga ganitong lugar. So ano po ba ang mga drivers ng pag-comply ng tao dito sa minimum health standards na meron po tayo? Next slide please. Then here is the co-creation stage of strategies to make the barangay truly bida with the local leaders. So we had our planning sessions with the barangay leaders kung saan uh, they together with us, no? have uh, tried to identify the gaps and identified strategies on how we can better address uh, ito pong mga uh, gaps na nakita natin doon sa kanilang community with regard to this behavior change of their community members. Next slide, please. So we also discuss about how to make sure that they are able to take care of both the COVID-19 and non-COVID uh, patients. So kailangan lang pong ipaalala, no? Because... Uh, 
tayo po lahat ay nakafocus na with COVID-19, we would want that we would also emphasize on the non-COVID pathway for health services and that the other health services are also important for our community members. Next slide. So ito naman po as uh, support and walk with the barangays. Uh, this is just to uh, show them no, that the barangay level helps us support our barangays as they implement changes. We support and we walk with them throughout this process. So ito po ay isang uh, pamantayan at pagpapatunay na tayo po ay susuporta sa ating mga local governments down to the barangay level para po maipatupad natin kung ano man pong mga behavior change campaign ang meron tayo at tayo po ay mag-monitor at tutulong nila even with resources. Next slide please. So finally, we are, ab uh, we are working to enable our community members to step up, step up as BIDA ambassadors. So ito po yung isang uh, napili natin, ano? and uh, we have these BIDA ambassadors and disciplina brigades kung saan magbubuo po ng mga disciplina brigades ang ating mga barangay para po sila naman po yung magmomonitor uh, among their community members if they are, they are really compliant with the minimum health standards that we have set uh, para po ma-prevent ang pagkalat ng sakit. Next slide, please. So ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina. No? Uh, we have undertaken this process uh, where uh, our barangays were visited and uh, we had these needs assessments. Nag-structure po tayo na meron tayong needs assessment phase. In-interview po natin ang households and healthcare workers. Meron po rin tayong feedback and planning phase where we co-created solutions with them and then the pilot of the community response as well as monitoring and recalibration of plans. Next slide please. So this is just to show us the different non-pharmaceutical interventions for minimum public health standards. Hindi ko na po ito ulit-ulitin, ano, pinapakita lang natin na kasama po yan sa pagkapacitate natin sa ating mga localities. Next slide please. So these are the different uh, issues that were identified. No? So unang-una po yung complacency. So uh, kailangan lang po ang rekomendasyon, of course, we have to publicize the magnitude of the problem. Uh, kailangan din po yung, uh, yung uh, progress uh, reporting uh, where we can see na because uh, we already know the magnitude of the problem, kailangan in time, nagre-reduce po yung mga number of those uh, non-compliant or violators. Uh, para po ma-achieve natin yung compliance, no? just to achieve compliance, for example, for wearing of the mask, for doing physical distancing. So yung pangalawa po na na-identify na issue, physical distancing, visual cues, and behavioral nudges have limited impact in high traffic areas. No? So ang recommendation po na napag-usapan with them is to identify these high traffic areas such as markets, uh, yung mga pera padala outlets uh, and uh, device mechanisms to limit the number of people allowed at certain periods. So we have discussed this with the barangays and I think this is critical because it is really understandable, especially in these crowded areas, to be uh, enforcing no, ito pong mga visual cues and behavioral nudges. Although we can try and do it, pero mas maganda na rin po kung malilimitahan natin ang mga numero ng tao na pupunta sa isang lugar for a given period of time. And then the third would be, of course, the stigma can be caused by actions that may label a resident as a suspect or a COVID-19 case. So kasama po dito yung mga pasyente na pumupunta sa mga health center or uh, yung mga pinipick up ng mga barangay no, through an ambulance. So nagkakaroon po ng stigmatization, nahihiya ang mga tao, lalo po silang nagtatago. No? So our recommendation here is to uh, revise the barangay protocols to minimize actions that may label as a, a resident as a suspect of COVID-19 case. So we have to promote the existing DOH mental health hotlines as well so that the families can also consult uh, when they have this kind of feelings, no? especially when it comes to mental health. Next slide, please. So uh, dito po sa feedback and uh, feedback mechanisms, no? initially intended for self-reporting of symptoms and consultation, uh, are used to report other individuals allegedly with symptoms. So our recommendation is to maintain that hotline and utilize reports by community members to trigger household monitoring by, by, via phone no? and to scope for rumors and misinformation. So next slide, please. 
So ito pa rin ho yung mga gaps and in information. Uh, we have a whole document for this but uh, I'm not going to really discuss all of this uh, uh, for now no? because I know we have limited time. Next slide please. So next slide please. So ito po yung uh, kabuuan ng ating uh, binigay na information po regarding our behavior change campaign. So we are appealing to everyone, hindi po tayo dapat matakot sa COVID-19. Nasa atin po ang solusyon kasi tayo po ang solusyon. Thank you.